In the previous tutorial, we introduced the threshold object. And just to give you some example of how to use that bang, so for instance, if we wanted a loud uh, noise to trigger some kind of sound file, well, I'll just put in a bang here just as a visual cue so we can see when uh, a certain noise meets that threshold. And then straight away, we are going to use a read SF object. And we're going to put a message above that. And the message is going to say that we're going to open up a particular file. Uh, give a comma and a one so it just works all in one go, all with one bang. We'll attach the bang to the inlet of that message box and the outlet to read SF. And then lastly, we'll just put a DAC object going out to the speaker at the bottom of that. So we will just put this file through both of the stereo speakers of that. So now, when there is a there we go. When there's a loud enough noise, I better not speak too loudly here or we'll uh, trigger it. When there's a loud enough noise, uh, a bang will happen. It will trigger this, there we go, trigger this open message that will feed in through this readSF object and will play the file out through uh, the DAC. So really I should probably set this, set this trigger a little bit high because it's a little bit too sensitive for me. So that might be better. I could probably talk away now. Yeah, so we'll need quite a loud bang to actually trigger it. So I'm just clapping my hands here. There we go. Or a very loud whistle will do it either. So it's just one of the different things we could do, but really any kind of thing that you want to trigger through a bang, through a loud noise, through a certain kind of threshold of speaking, we just need to set the actual threshold level and use that bang coming from the threshold object.